McAllister Hall, Baum Gallery, Wingo. Have you ever wondered why the buildings on our campus are named the way they are? Well, President Tom Courtway wants to be sure everyone knows the history behind the names of our buildings. Tom Courtway has this ingenious idea to, to have a variety of dedications as they relate to, to the many different buildings that, that reflect the names of, of people such as Dr. J.D. Mashburn. Family and friends of the late Dr. J.D. Mashburn recently gathered together for the unveiling of a bronze plaque that is now displayed in Mashburn Hall. Even though the building had been named in 1995, now 21 years later we unveil a plaque with this picture and a description of, of uh, what his legacy was. We are now embarked on a path as a university to where we're going to have these plaques over time in every single building. It's all about giving credit where credit is due. When, when people go into our buildings, they see these names and they don't know anything about those names. They just know that's the name of the building and they have no idea why the building is named for that person. Well, President Corway has put bronze plaques in these buildings to let people know who they're named for. It gives the, the uh, student or the visitor to that building an idea about who that person was, what they did in life, and their connection to UCA and, and their importance to UCA. And this is only the beginning. Stay tuned for a new series in the archives with Jimmy Bryant for more historical perspective on UCA. For Bear Tales, I'm Christina Munoz-Madsen.